is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring All right, well, welcome to day one of the Novena to the Holy Spirit for a new Pentecost in the church. Uh, we're happy to have you here with us. Um, this is going to be a challenge to really see how a lot of you who did the surrender to the will of God Novena, how that is going to play out because it's a perfect time to do this, uh, especially as things begin to open up with the coronavirus. Uh, but what we'll do uh, each day, you're going to see, uh, for those who have the packet, and we'll have this online soon, hopefully. Uh, we'll have the prayer, and then on the inside cover, um, we'll have our closing prayer. So, Father Matt, I'll give you a little reflection, uh, but why don't we just begin in prayer um, with this? So, we in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So as we go through this uh, novena, it's again a nine days. So the history of this comes from um, after Ascension Thursday. You take nine days of preparation for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But this particular one... Uh, what we're doing is we're praying for a new Pentecost in the church, and that means a lot of renewal. Um, so the, the readings we're going to have today come from Ezekiel, and it's going to be a challenge for a lot of us to say, am I ready for not going back to the old way of doing things? Am I ready for transition? Am I ready for change? Am I ready for challenge? And we need a new heart individually, and we need a new heart in our church uh, as we move forward. So Father Matt and I will give a brief reflection on this. And then we'll do the uh, prayer, Novena prayer, every time we do this. So today, our scriptures, um, I'll read the first one, I'll follow Matt, read the second one, and then we'll give a little reflection. So Ezekiel 36, 26 through 28 says, I will give you a new heart, and a new spirit I'll put it within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh, and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you, so that... You walk in my statutes, observe my ordinances, and keep them. You will live in the land I gave to your ancestors. You will be my people, and I will be your God. And Ezekiel also writes, I will put my spirit in you, that you may come to life, and I will settle you in your land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken. I will do it. This is uh, going to be a challenge for a lot of us, and including myself, you know, because we need that new heart. Um, he's going to put a, a new heart in the heart in the in the catechism. It talks about being a place of encounter, and he wants to put a new spirit within you. And he says, "I will remove from your heart the stone from your flesh." And that's that's those areas of our hearts where we've hardened, where we probably need to really work on forgiveness and find. And ask the Holy Spirit to re Holy Spirit to reveal to you any areas of unforgiveness where you hold grudges towards others, um, and that Spirit um, is going to give you the grace to follow through, you know, and follow the commandments, the, the ordinances, and keep them. And he says, "You're going to live in the land I gave your ancestors, and you'll be my people, and I'll be your God." And our God is provider; He's going to take care of us through thick and thin. And I know some of you who are watching are probably having a hard time, or you know somebody who's having a hard time. But to know that the Lord speaks with this confidence. He says, I will, I will, I will. And he wants us to know that he's going to take care of us. And that the confidence of that is him giving us a new spirit individually, giving us a new spirit in the church, uh, and giving like a new spirit in the family, which is in need of so much healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally we hear this scripture reading at the beginning of the season of Lent. Mm -hmm. And as you all know, Lent is a time of renewal. It's of dying to ourselves that we can live for Christ. And, and that's really what we're doing too with this um, novena as we prepare for Pentecost. Getting rid of our old selves. That's why the apostles spent nine days in prayer. 
they, even though they had followed Jesus for three and a half years, they had heard all of his preachings, they saw all of his miracles, they still had hard hearts. Even the night before Jesus died, they still didn't get what Jesus' true mission was. And so they spent those nine days in prayer preparing their hearts, getting rid of the hardness so that, and all the other stuff that was cluttering their hearts so that they'd have plenty of room for the gift that Jesus had promised, the advocate, the paraclete, the one who would be with them to give them the graces and the strength that they need. And yeah, granted this happened 2,000 years ago, Jesus still is giving us that promise of the Holy Spirit today. We just got to clean all that clutter out of our hearts and get rid of it. Um, one of my favorite stories of um, St. John Vianney is that he would often pray, Lord, let my heart beat in rhythm with your hearts. And in order to have our hearts beating in rhythm with the Lord, we got to make sure that we got to get rid of all the, the missed beats mm -hmm. so that we can be in tune with the Lord. And if we want to have a, clean, a new heart and receive a new spirit, we got to get rid of all the old junk mm -hmm. and get rid of the hardness of our hearts. Yeah, and that that um, that second reading, you know, it says, "I'll put my spirit within you, that you may come to life." And maybe you can just ask yourself as an individual, "Am I full of life? Mm -hmm. you know, am I full of joy? Am I full of the life of Christ?" And then even ask, you know, "Is your family that way? And also, is your parish that way? And is the universal church, the Catholic Church, are we full of life?" But he says, "I will settle you in your land. I'll make you peaceful." That word "settle" is a very powerful word. But he says, then you shall know. And that word know, it's it's not like a head knowledge. Like, you know, we think how tall is Father Matt or how tall is Father Zach. You know things about. But he says, you'll know at a, like a relational, a heart to heart that I am your Lord. And the word Lord is all capitalized um, because it's it's the word of, it's, it's God, right? And it's, it's a powerful essence. We don't want to use that word without any irreverence. It's, it's a very, very strong word. He says, I have spoken and I will do it. So we really have to trust and keep our eyes on the prize um, that our God is faithful. He will come through. Maybe not as, as we think he will. We have to say, whatever you want, Lord, whatever you want, as we did in our last novena a lot of the times. So what we'll do is we will close with um, the novena prayer. And in this particular prayer each day, we're going to pray for the church. Uh, we're going to pray for um, the leaders of the church. And we'll also pray for the domestic church which is the family so our, our homes are supposed to echo and mirror um, the ecclesial church and then we'll have a time to pray for a specific intention um, and you can we'll have a, a moment of pause for that and then we'll conclude in prayer so uh, father matt lead us okay and we're gonna it's a big long prayer so we're gonna take it slowly okay that way you can really reflect on the words as you pray them and as you pray, remember, open your hearts and invite the Holy Spirit in. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the Church. Our Savior, Jesus, taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We thank you that promise includes each one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we now turn to you in prayer. We ask you now for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the church in this age, a new Pentecost. Come, Holy Spirit, come into the church of Jesus Christ and awaken her. Fill her bishops, priests, deacons, ministers, and all her people afresh. Baptize the whole body of Christ. Heal the divisions within the body of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Send forth your fire on the earth. We also ask for a fresh outpouring on the domestic church of the Christian family. Transform Christian families into a sign of the kingdom through your power. Come, Holy Spirit. You reveal the mind of the Lord. You search me 
and know me and my needs. I specifically bring to you now my own personal intention. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of your faithful. Come, Holy Spirit, and awaken the church. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pope St. John Paul II. Pray for us. All right. God bless you. Congratulations. Day one is done. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. Tasted and seen of the sweetest of love Where my heart becomes free And my shame is undone Your presence, Lord Holy Spirit, you are well Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence. Tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit. and fill the atmosphere your glory God is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are welcome come fly this place and fill the glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us
just become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come fly this place and fill the Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be 